My Lord Marquis, it is an honor. I am Yote, Knight of the Undying, charged with the protection of His Grace Joshua Rosfield, Keeper of the Flame of the Phoenix. Uh, of course. It all makes sense now. Would you care to elaborate? The Undying are loyal servants to the Ducal Throne. Come now. Tell us what you've discovered. Your Grace. It is as you feared. The vessel we spied off the coast of the Crystalline Dominion on the night of her fall. It was the Ein Herjar. Beyond any doubt. The Black Galleon. Joshua. The Ein Herjar is the Royalist flagship. What business would they have in the Dominion? Uh, upon learning of Walud's involvement in recent events at Drake's Fang, I sensed the malign influence of Ultima, and bid Yote and the Undying look into the matter. We have reason to believe that the Black Galleon weighed anchor shortly after the fighting began, and set a course due south. For Canva? Then it is Waluda knights who besiege the cities. What is left of them, yes. And the Black Galleon sails at but one man's behest. Barnabas Tharm. So it was not Sylvester, but Olivier, who served as Ultima's puppet. And when Dion learned of this, he sought to slay the fiend. Only for his father to take the spear that would have freed him. Enough to drive a man to madness. Small wonder he hasn't stirred. I would be afraid to wake. Had I but reached out to him sooner, warned him of the threat Ultima posed. But now, both an empire and her prince lie broken. Joshua. What do you know of Ultima? Very little.
There's an army of Akashic at the gates of Canver. <laughs> Were it not for the Undying's aid, I would be long dead. Grant them your trust, and they will repay you with their loyalty.